please, guys, don't tell Rare about this because it will get me banned. But I can activate the aimbot if I'm wanting. Um, you know, it's good in situations where, um, you know, I need to get the upper hand. But don't, don't, please, nobody clip that and send it to Rare because I, I will get banned. Hey, you beautiful buccaneers, Falcor here. So we all know that one guy. He's either on your crew or he's on someone else's. And you can never fathom how this one guy is so incredibly useless at practically everything. So here's a much needed tutorial of how to be that guy. Now, it is important to make your crew wait for your arrival. Xbox players, for example, have a much slower loading time, which is no fault of their own. But either on Xbox or PC, it's important to stand in the tavern dormant for at least 15 minutes before springing to life. But it doesn't stop there. Your loyal crew have been waiting patiently, DMing you on various social networks and screaming at you over the mic. But let's just ignore all that. Your mission is far too important to take compact from your crew, because you have to adorn yourself in the finest fabrics within the seas. The crab set. But then you discover that your crew has lost patience with you and began to set sail. Of course, most people would just grab a mermaid, but your loyal crew are just too damn nice for their own good and drop the anchor for you. Now, it's important to take your time making it to the ladder and never hit the sprint button whilst you swim. Perfect. Once on board, your crew will begin to raise the anchor, so do your best to ignore that and don't help. After all, you lost a tiny bit of health from that sword lunge, so it's important to replenish that 0.3% health with the best food your crew spent time searching for. Oh, a pineapple. Perfect. Now you're on the seas, the salt air in your stupidly coloured beard, a splash of water on your face as you spot a sunken ship in the distance. Now most crews would coordinate a slow approach and plot a course for a steady stop directly next to the ship, but nah, let's just drop the anchor 50 foot from it instead. Thankfully your crew are seasoned veterans and know how to traverse these distances in grace. You notice this as you stand on the bow watching them do all the hard work for you. The crew are back with the loot, and it's time to set sail once more. Now it's time to go on that Athena voyage, and it looks like this island has quite a few X's to dig up. So wait for your crew to begin the slow approach to the island, and then drop the anchor 50 foot from the shoreline once again. Your crew have dug up a lot of loot in the past, and they know exactly what to do. So as your crew go on their grand adventure to this mysterious isle, make sure you go up the crow's nest and pretend to look for ships. It it really is a great way to be a totally lazy pork end. But wait, is that an enemy player? Finally, something you know you're good at. You've been waiting for this moment for the longest time. A player who has no idea you're creeping up on him. The element of surprise is in your favor. You can plan this attack accordingly and come out as the victor. So make sure to stand a good distance away from him and snipe him with a blunderbuss. That'll do it. Well, that didn't end too well at all, so be sure to signify to your crew that the hit reg is clearly broken, but never actually inform them why you said this. Meanwhile, on your ferryman vacation, the other cruise ship has come along and sunk your vessel whilst your crew is hard at work. It's at this point you should probably think about rage quitting out of the game, and in most cases you would, but today you need that extra money from your crew to unlock that Kraken blunderbuss. So be sure to blame your crew on their terrible work for looking after the ship. Your your crew has been doing a fantastic job and you're having a wonderful time being carried and prancing around like an idiot. And they're finally on the final step of the Athena voyage. Congratulations on your minimal effort. Just one more stop and all this pain shall be over for them. But you still have one more secret mission to make to really put that nail in the coffin. That's a fort and you have no care or understanding of the hard work your crew has done for you. So make sure you let them know that the fort is up extensively, and if they don't listen, drop the anchor to make your point known. Oh dear. Well, this isn't really a problem. In fact, this is a victory. Now you have the excuse to do absolutely nothing and still get paid after all this hard work. Now, let's make sure to randomly start different tunes on the hurdy-gurdy to really piss on their cornflakes. 
Perfect. Well, the voyage is done. The gold is yours, and you're about to log off for the night. It's time to give yourself a pat on the back and log off. Wait, 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 no. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. No, 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 no.